What's up my friends? All right, so we are going to be doing some painting today and this is what the thing I was, was mentioning that I was excited about. So we've got a few things masked off, uh, bought a couple things that we're going to need for this video and um, it's going to be awesome. Um, not that, that's not what I needed. Okay, but yeah, um, we've got a few things masked off and then we're going to, we are going to paint. So uh, just go back through it. And what I want to do is reverse this color scheme. So we have this uh, uh, permanent light green or permanent green light, uh, sea, sea green, ocean, ocean green, orange. And, well, anyway, we're just going to flip that and do that pattern just backwards. We don't need nearly as much as we had last time. We're going to be covering up some beautiful stuff, but you know, such as life. Actually, this line right here is my favorite line. And it's gone. It's fine, though. And I don't need as much of this blue or orange because it is very non-opaque. Opaqueless. Sands opaque. I'm not even sure how to say that. All right. And I'm going to feather it out with a brush. This here is cerulean blue. need a wider mask. And that's kind of the thing though. So I use I think that's actually very awesome, leaving it non-mixed, but layered over. I'm trying to get this blue light. I'm not a... Not as huge of a fan of that blue as I thought I might be. Man, I probably need more than one coat of this stuff here. Can't wait to pull that masking tape off. It's going to be so awesome. Just feathering this out, lighten it up real good. All right, you ready? One. Blood under my tape.
just fixing where it bled under my tape. And you know, it's not going to be perfect, but it can be better than this. I really like good lines. Um, when the lines are crisp and smooth, I find that to be just so absolutely beautiful. Not perfect, but much better. So this is kind of fun because it's like a soft blend and these are like hard lines, soft. We're gonna do more though. Here is my, where's black? We're gonna take this and outline the whole thing in Mars Black. Let's use a, a bigger brush than this guy. This little guy's too small. No, I hope I'm recording. Am I? I am. Am I still centered? Yeah. All right, so I'm using a larger, this is a, just a chip brush. It's not anything nice. Um, very cheap or inexpensive. I'm, yeah, it doesn't really even need to be nice. I just don't want its bristles in my painting. But if we can avoid that, yeah, I'll be pretty darn happy. I think this will give the uh, just a really nice finished look to the edges. Uh, make it actually look like I'm trying to make it something be nice, like a nice painting or whatever. Oops, that was a lot. I almost brought a, bought a roller for this because it would be pretty darn nice just to be able to roll it on and roll it off, pick it up. You know what's funny? When I when I do a painting and I intended it to look the way it comes out, I'm always, I always feel like way better about it. And if I do like just kind of some sort of random whatever that turns out any old way, I mean, not that it's bad. I just, uh, I feel more accomplished when I've directed it. <laughs> like, Check this out, I'm an artist. I meant that to happen and everything. And so um, I didn't use a measuring tape at all to get these uh, tape things set where I wanted. Uh, what I did was I took the end of one of my widest brushes and I just made sure it was the same size all the way around. Because, um, you know, I'm not even sure where I would have a, uh, a measuring tape in this, because we're here temporarily. Um, we're in this apartment temporarily while our, while our house is being built, so um, I didn't bring any of my tools here. Or my boys didn't bring their school supplies. 
So I don't even know where I would find some of these things that I think I might want and need. Okay. So once we get these off, it's still not going to be done. We've got uh, we've got something else that I'm going to add to it. Um, did I paint my hands? I did not paint my hands. So that's good. All right. So let's pull this off and see how it looks. Okay, cool. That's a good start. Then we got to do this last thing we've got planned to happen. And you'll see that in just a second. Okay. So I went and covered a lot of area with a 15 by 15 tarp because this next part is supposed to be a little bit messy. Landed on the tarp. Huh? I kind of like how some of this stuff is going to be breaking the plane here, too. It's kind of coming over the black a little bit. And so, but I want it to feel, um, I don't want a lot of sideways lines. So I don't, I don't think we're going to get up here and over here. bedspread. I had to take it off before I got divorced. Um, my wife is on vacation right now. Well, she's not on vacation. She's taking the boys on a cross-country trip. And, um, yeah, she's, she's a brave woman. Don't worry about that. All right. And probably one more over in this area, and then we'll probably be done. Yeah, we made it too, and one over there. All right, I'm gonna let this dry, and then we'll do our next step. Pause. All right, guys, so it's been a little bit of time now, and um, I went and mixed some Mars Black with a little bit of water so it flows better because I'm using heavy body paints. But what I did was over diluted it. And so then I'm like, oh my gosh. So then I had to come back through and add uh, gel medium back into it just so it wouldn't be so, uh, so runny. You know, this is a good point to point out that I would have saved probably like five minutes with consistency if I would have stopped chasing the turd, got a new cup and uh, just put some some more a um, uh, little bit less water that next time but anyway so here we go with this black we're gonna do the same thing as with the white and uh, yeah here we go huh hmm what to do with that I wanted long, and it just went. Uh, maybe I'll let it stay. You know what? I'm gonna let it stay. Feels like it should go there. Getting this everywhere, getting it on the wall, getting it on the bed. Yeah, got it off the wall at least.
Okay. Um, I think I is done. Man, I put those things in all the right places. I didn't get any on the carpet. Got a little on my painting stuff, but it's painting stuff. I'm gonna have to clean this table, but... Huh. How about that? Sweet. Okay, so, give me a second. Uh, here we go. Let's see. If I do this, am I upside down? I might be, who knows. Um, anyway guys, thanks for watching. You know what, I was excited to do this one and I really like the idea of masking stuff off. Um, this is my first attempt at it and I love the hard edges against the chaos or the uh, the straight edges against the chaos and um, yeah, it's a lot of fun to do. So guys, would you do me a favor? Uh, would you like this video? And you know what, if, uh, if you enjoyed it, would you mind sharing it? Shares are a big deal for a YouTuber and I really appreciate it. All right guys, that's it for me. Peace out. I kind of like that for a painting. I might do an off-center square next time. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Okay, guys. Bye.